mine is um, 31 and uh, 32. So basically, what I'll be doing is I'll be using a phone as a mic and then projecting it on the TV. And we'll also be, also be having a game of uh, music. We'll be playing from different parts of the world and we'll be projecting on the TV. Hi, guys. The other day, I went to one of the conferences. Uh, there were a lot of people there and a lot of mics and a lot of noise as well. You know, as in when, uh, when suppose a person started speaking on the mic, it was giving a lot of sound. That time I suddenly thought, how about using a phone itself as a microphone? And then how about using the TV as a speaker? So now this is the right time where we can make use of both those technology. So this is basically disrupting the whole system. So I can use this as the mic now, and as and when I speak, the data will come on the TV. So we can also have the global conferences. So this is basically a new app as well as a multi-screen app. So here if I click on this uh, global uh, global conference connect, I can see all the people who are on the conference. Then I click on this, then it will call everybody who is in the meeting. And it will also send instant messages. And it will call everyone at the single click. So the advantage is that we don't have to use the mic anymore. And we don't have to have a separate system. So all the data can be easily stored on the cloud. You can just have your PowerPoint just call me now. So this is a conference call. It calls everyone whoever is con configured, configured. So the advantage is you can just have your PowerPoint presentation here and then go to the conference and just present it with your microphone, with your phone. So the phone now becomes the microphone. Mic, actually. So there's no need of a separate uh, mic system. So. This is the example where you can see Larry and Sergey from Google and Obama watching the Google TV and people all over the world using the tablet and the phone. It's a multi-screen app, so we can call everybody and then have the conference. Any questions? You had me getting excited. I started getting really excited and then you got me totally confused. So um, <laughs> it, the I think maybe you started applying a few different applications. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and so I would say just choose one of the scenarios okay. um, and and not start to weave in all the other ones. Okay. The first one I, I was hearing, which is what piqued my interest, Perfect. certainly there's lots of technical challenges, you know, in these types of environments, but the notion that we're all here and, you know, at a conference and you're the speaker and then it comes time to Q&A, and we don't have to hand this stupid thing around. Okay. You and you just point to somebody, and I can then just use this to amplify, and that is amplified. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. kind of interesting. Yes, yes. That's um, you know, then you started getting into this conference call and everything else. But like, that if that's if that truly is one of the things that you were thinking about, yes, yes. Uh, that's uh, that's pretty yeah. novel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So supposing you see now you have to pass the mic. Yeah, to exactly. The Instead of that, he'll already have his phone and he'll just speak, or maybe he would have recorded. You know. Like supposing if you are speaking to somebody and he has a thought but he'll forget by the time it comes to him, so he'll just record and keep it and then he'll switch on. So that is. Yeah, and you could do it synchronously or asynchronously, mm -hmm. right? Because you, what you're after is the high quality video or high quality mic, right, on the phone, yeah. where you can digitize. Um, yeah, I I didn't actually understand what you were trying to build until he asked you the question. So think hard about like how you can explain it to somebody who hasn't been as deep with you okay. uh, as you uh, on the app because I, I didn't understand it until he untangled it for you. <laughs> Actually, it's a two app. One will be on the phone at the client side and the server side is on the TV. So as and when you right. speak, it will be streamed over there. Right. Right. I think the use case is really tight here. It makes a lot of sense to me. I think the killer app would be video, right? Like in the sense that you know, at a conference today, it's kind of bearable to have like a, a, a speaker standing and someone walks up to it, but there's no video component. So if you could have, you know, projected on the on the big screen, like actually, you know, see the person who's talking, so you can find them afterwards and, and talk to them. I think that's really compelling. Yeah, that's that's yeah. you know, just just to riff off of that for you know for a second, um, the notion of me having me having my phone. Well, because that's my phone. Me having my phone, and you know, I'm because I was wondering. Google TV, what the heck does this have to do right. with Google TV at all? Because this is just Skype. Right? But then it struck me that it's like, well, wait a second. If this is like just projected, just like it was a presentation or a conference, and also now I'm talking, and certainly I'm using this as a mic, but it's also then a camera, so other people are now zoomed in on me, so we don't have the camera guys. But then on top of that, the other the other feature you could add is that there, now it's me talking. There's information on who I am. That's up on that screen because you know the thing where someone asks a question, it was like, "Can you please introduce yourself first? Yeah. It's like, what a waste of time, right? Yeah. That's 
That's kind of interesting. 